Hi everyone, welcome to another day of Facebook Storytime with Miss Megan. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, all that fun stuff. We're going to have a super fun-filled uh, Halloween story time today. I hope you're all looking forward to that. Uh, not many announcements, just make sure to come by and grab a crap. The library is open from 10 to 8, Tuesday through Saturday now to come inside to pick up your holds. You can only go in the meeting room, you can't come in the actual library, but you can go in the meeting room, pick up your holds instead of having to grab them outside, so that's cool. All right, so now we're gonna read Boo Haiku by Deanna Has Caswell and Bob Shea, and Fright School by Janet Lawler and Chiara Galetti. So, Boo Haiku. Here's a spooky haiku just for you. Broom across the moon, pointed hat at the window, hair raising cackle. Can you guess from who this haiku? Boo, it's a witch. This witch has a spooky haiku just for you. Wings for a blanket and upside down nap ending. Wake up, time to fly. Can you guess who from her haiku? What do you think it is? Boo, it's a bat. This bat has a spooky haiku just for you. A bony boogie raggling around the broom, clacking to the beat. Can you guess who from his haiku? What do you think it is? Can you guess by the hint? Boo, it's a skeleton. This skeleton has a spooky haiku just for you. An orange porch pile scooped from pie and roasted seeds. A candlelit grin. Can you guess from his haiku? What do you think he's describing? Well, what do those seeds look like and what's orange? Ooh, it's a jack-o'-lantern. The jack-o'-lantern has a spooky haiku just for you. Footsteps without feet, wooing in the basement, heavy chains floating. Can you guess who from his haiku? What do you think it'll be? It sounds spooky. Boo, it's a ghost. The ghost has a spooky haiku just for you. Fence top at midnight, a whiskered shadow crossing on soft, silent pots. Can you guess who from her haiku? What do you think? Boo, it's a black cat. This cat has a spooky haiku just for you. Eight legs on a web, a sticky situation for a cornered fly. Can you guess who from his haiku? What do you think? What spins webs? Boo, it's a spider. The spider has a spooky haiku just for you. A hollowed out tree, a feathered face in the dark is asking, who, who? Can you guess from her haiku? What do you guys think? Ooh, it's an owl. This owl has a spooky haiku just for you. The straw man stands guard, posted above garden rows, keeping out the birds. Can you guess who from her haiku? Ooh, it's a scarecrow. This scarecrow has a spooky haiku just for you. Closed door, open bags, excited painted faces. Knock, knock, trick or treat. Can you guess who from his haiku? Boo, it's you. The end. I hope you guys like that one. And now we're gonna read Fright School by Janet Lawler. A darkened school in autumn nights with moonlight streaming in echoes with the midnight bell for classes to begin. The door to fright school opens wide. Each monster grabs a seat to learn the art of scaring all the kids who trick or treat. Mm. 
Mummy's practicing moaning sounds and dragging just one foot. Dracula's in in Coffin's eyes. Their teacher scold. Stay put. Goblins leer in mirrors, earning A's for every scare. Werewolves in the older grades are taught to spike their hair. Bats hang out in gloomy rooms or swoop across the halls. Ghosts appear and disappear while sleeping through the wall. At lunchtime, picky eaters groan, our apples don't taste rotten which is relish hot dogs made last year and then forgotten. And then at fright school recess, zombies wander in a daze. Spiders on the jungle, jungle gym create a playground maze. The janitor tells birds of prey to wipe their dirty claws. The nurse yells from her office, hey, I'm running out of gauze. Ha, cause they're mummies. That's funny. Vampires sharpen their grins by something with teeth to points. Oh, is this supposed to be chiseling teeth to points? Weird. Skeletons bone up on math, subtracting ribs from joints. Trolls burst out of lockers, swing something in smelling foul. Go, ghouls play in the music room, perfecting hoots and howls. Weeks later, when the term is done, each creature takes the test. Awards I won for boiling brews and haunting houses best. They clutch their new diplomas just in time for Halloween. Tossing hats and hugging cats, all cheer, let's make a scene. Suddenly they hear a noise, a muffed heavy thump. Followed by a forceful knock, in unison they jump. Who's that? The biggest bat squeaks out as fearful monsters quake. At last, one goblin grabs the knob and gives a nervous shake. Fright school students crack the door and peer out toward the street, but lessons forgotten. When the kids cry, trick or treat. Oh no, they got scared by the kids. So silly. All right, that's going to do it for story time today. Thank you for listening. As always, don't forget to grab craft tomorrow at 1030. Um, and that's about it. Have a safe and healthy and fun Halloween. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Bye, everybody.